Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can go from this crusty mess to this. Classy, clean, natural nails that you can achieve by following four simple steps. So let's get started. First things first, take a very good look at your nails. And this is probably the best piece of advice that I've heard. And it's that you're going to shape your three edge the same shape of your cuticle. So as you can see here, I have a rounded cuticle. So I'm gonna round my nails to elongate and make my nail bed look longer. And to file my nails, I'm going to be using this file that I got from Sephora. You don't need anything fancy. You just need something that's gonna work for you and that's not going to be too abrasive and hurt your nails. So as you can see, I'm trying to file my nails in one direction and I'm doing it slowly so you can see how I'm shaping them. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that I always do it this way because sometimes I don't have the patience and I like to go back and forth with my nail file, but that is not recommended. So I've always been told by my nail tech that you should only file your nails in one direction. And I will go ahead and recommend it to you too as well. So you can continue to shape your nails until they look perfect. And after you're done shaping them, I always recommend using a buffer or using the nail file if hopefully it'll have like a buffer side like mine and you can just do this downwards motion to make sure that you're evening out any kind of nail that is still left over. I also like to look underneath my nails and kind of give them a little bit of a buff uh, like so. And now we're going to move on to cuticle care and I love to use this tool because I've been using it for years but you don't really need a tool like this. You can also use an orange stick. I think that's what they're called those little sticks. Uh, but I've been using this for a very long time and I've been using this motion once or twice a week to nudge my cuticles back and this has helped keeping my nail beds looking a little bit cleaner and more neat. You don't even need this tool. You can also just use your fingers. I like to do this once in a while, like I said, a couple times a week just to keep my nails super clean. And this part is going to get me in trouble probably because I've been eaten alive by all of you in the comment section saying I shouldn't trim my cuticles. But this is something that I've been doing for so long and I do this once a week or once every other week. I do it very gently and this is an optional step. So you do not have to do this if you don't feel comfortable doing it. And again, to each their own. I have been doing this for a long time and I love the way that my nails look. You don't have to do it, but I'm putting it here for the sake of being transparent. So here's another trick that I like to use. And tip number three is exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. I do this once a week in between my manicures to keep my hands feeling very soft and to also keep my nail bed nice and clean. I made this scrub myself. So if you wanna know the secret recipe, leave a comment down below. So as you can see here, I'm just applying this all over my nails and then I went ahead and washed them. And this is what my hands look like after. They are so soft. I wish you guys could feel because they feel so good after using this. And lastly, I have my holy grail and that is cuticle oil. And this will make a difference. Every time you feel like your hands are looking a little crusty, you just need a little bit, just a tiny little drop, just like this. And it doesn't have to be a store-bought one. I'm using almond oil. Uh, it's not necessarily cuticle oil specifically, but I've used almond oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, whatever you have in your pantry. Just use a little bit of this after you have washed your hands if you can or once a day. Some people use it a little bit more often, but I just don't have the time or patience for that. So use it once a day or every other day just to keep your hands looking a little bit more soft. And it also gives your nails a bit of a shine without having to use nail polish. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I always moisturize my nails or my hands rather every time I wash my hands. And this is a game changer, especially in the winter time. If you live in a cold climate, I really recommend that you do this. And voila, this is what your nails should look like after following these four simple steps. I hope that you enjoyed learning with me today. And if you tried any of these tips, let me know in the comments down below. See you in the next time and have a great rest of your day. Bye.